if you're cold, they're cold. But our tiniest friends, insects and other arthropods, they can't turn on the furnace. So how do they stay warm for the winter? Well, got a few tricks. Some insects will overwinter as eggs, caterpillars, larvae, or pupa. What the insects are going to do is try and make sure that the water in their bodies doesn't freeze and make sharp crystals, which will burst their cells. So that can be done in different ways. One way is they try and get rid of as much water as they can in their bodies, but a lot of them will produce some type of antifreeze. A lot of our insects will be overwintering in leaf litter. Some will overwinter um, under bark. Some even can be exposed. They could be exposed right on the ends of buds, little tiny caterpillars, right completely exposed, but they have this antifreeze so that they're not going to die. Some insects overwinter like dragonflies or damselflies under the water as nymphs or larvae. So they're actually moving around at the bottom of ponds, feeding, growing, so that they're getting bigger so that when spring comes, they'll be able to emerge as an adult and start flying around. Their best trick is relying on us humans. Many insects have adapted to living in your home all winter, and in some cases, all year long. One insect that overwinters as an adult yeah. um, are stink bugs. You can see one there. There are a lot of insects that, uh, and other invertebrates that are adapted to being with humans. Some are actually inside all the time. So cellar spiders, for example, you have them. Everyone has them. They're actually helping keep your house pest free. And not to worry, the bugs and spiders that are spending the cold months cuddled up to you vacate the premises when the weather warms up in the spring. If you want to do your part to help insects survive, remember not to clean up around the yard too heavily in the fall. This extra layer of insulation could make all the difference for a healthy insect ecosystem.